Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in response to the artists Gilbert and George. And I've already selected a photograph of myself uh, on a white background, so I can use the magic wand tool to select the whole background at once um, and then press delete and that gets rid of my background completely. And then I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white and turn my image black and white. I also want to use image adjustments, brightness and contrast to raise the contrast um, and make my photograph look a little bit more like Gilbert and George's work. Um, I'm not going the whole hog and using threshold because I still want quite a lot of detail in my photograph. Okay, so that will do. Right, and now it's time to start adding colour to our photograph. So um, I'm going to start by colouring the t-shirt. So I'm with the polygonal lasso tool, just going round the t-shirt. Um, obviously I am being quick. Um, I would advise you to take more time for a better edge, but for the purposes of the tutorial I am being as fast as I can. Okay, once I've done that, I'm then going to control C, control V, which is going to copy and paste my t-shirt onto a new layer. Okay, and then on this new layer, I'm going to use the magic wand to select everywhere that isn't the t-shirt. I'll just zoom out so you can see. And then I go to select invert and that selects just the t-shirt on that layer. Um, and then I'm gonna choose a color. I think like a nice hot pink will do. And I'm going to grab a new layer and I'm gonna plop that layer underneath my t-shirt layer. And then I'm gonna use the paint bucket to fill the mask on that empty layer. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the t-shirt layer and I'm going to go to the drop down menu above and I'm going to scroll through the options until I get to what I feel is the best um, option to properly fill the t-shirt with colour. tends to be multiply most of the time, but sometimes it can be different. Okay, so next up we're going to fill the beard and so I'm going to zoom in and use the polygonal lasso tool to go round my beard. Again I am being quick and would advise you to take more time over this to get a cleaner finish but I am quickly going round all the beard until I get back to my start point and then same as I did before control C control V and that is going to give me the beard on its own layer and again same as before I'm going to choose a new layer I'm going to drag that underneath my beard and going to the magic wand and clicking anywhere but the beard. Select inverse so I have the beard selected. Going to that empty layer while that mask is still there. Choosing a colour, in this case red, and then using the paint bucket to fill the beard or the area where the mask is on that empty layer. I then click back onto the beard layer, go to the drop down menu above it and scroll down until I get the best possible effect, which is usually multiply. Um, you'll see, but I have colored my lips in red. I need to get rid of that. So I'm gonna use the polygonal mask tool and I'm going to go round the inside of my beard
and once I have done that, still on the layer with the red color on, I'm going to press delete and that's going to get rid of the red where I don't want it. Okay, right, so now I want to color my lips in and this is going to be the same process as the rest. Go back to the background layer, use the polygonal lasso tool to go around my lips. Again, take your time with this. Once you're happy, control C, control V, and that's going to put the lips onto their own layer. And again, we're going to make a new layer, drag that underneath the lips, then using the magic wand on the lips layer and selecting everything else, then inverting it so I've got the lips selected, getting the color I want, going to the empty layer, and then filling that mask that I just created with the color and going back to the lips layer going back to the drop down menu and choosing the best one for the job and that is if I zoom out for you all the color that I'm going to add to my portrait and I've got one last thing I want to do which is once I've merged these layers together is just to double click on the layer and to use stroke at about size 20 I think and click OK and that is going to give me the black outline that all the elements in Gilbert and George's work have Okay, and that is the end of the first part of this tutorial. I'll see you again in part two.